Hey crew, it's Ben. Time back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out Aesop Rock. This is Dog at the Door. And we're just going to dive in and see what's up. Let's go. Huh? Who's there? Dog at the front door barking at the air. Wind all. Wind the trees then. Feet on leaves. Uh. Probably a cat, might be a guy with an axe, might be a trap. Shit is oh, so we in that spiral, huh? <laughs> I don't know if this is a drug induced spiral or what, but this is a paranoid spiral. This is anxiety off the top, right? <laughs> I feel that. Like, this is the one I still deal with, right? I've gotten done with the depression stuff, and uh, but the anxiety still gets me. Trap. Might be a possum in the trash. It's probably a trap. Hey, <laughs> it's probably a trap. Come over, gotta sound stupid. Good chance I'm not even talking to a human. <laughs> then again, it's probably a trap. Somebody <laughs> had to set it. Depending on the type, maybe several. Yeah, that's it. It's probably several. Several come together to make what would have taken one forever. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a pretty damn sophisticated trap. Utilizing some technology I didn't know we had. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I am entirely tripping. It might have been the neighbor's kid, but I have my suspicions. <laughs> I wish it were as simple as a critter, but it isn't. I feel that it's important we consider all dimensions like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's a trap? I still <laughs> Yo, I relate to this. I do, because I'm I'm that dude. Like, when I was growing up, I had an abusive childhood, so I always planned my escapes, right? Every room I went into, I planned my escapes from the get-go. And I'm talking about from, like, five years old. I was planning my way out of the room in the most efficient way possible and the next most efficient way possible. And, like, I don't go anywhere without, like, I said the other day, I, like, I don't understand how people can get surprised in their cars because I check mine every time. There's nobody ever going to be able to surprise me in my car. Right? You ain't going to be able to surprise me walking up on me. Like, I'm going to know you there. Like, you may surprise me by pulling out something and shooting me. But you ain't gonna surprise me by coming up. I'm gonna see you coming. To the lawn, Whether there's somebody there or not sometimes. Jump out with the back, I wake up. And that's not even high or nothing. Like that's just chilling. Been some alley on a whole the other plane. Can't remember who I am. I had to get back to the base. Huh? I realize you people think that I am off the deep end. I'll say that it's a lovely night regardless of the BS. Yeah. It is. A perfect snow is sprinkling the path. It's almost like the atmosphere is begging for a trap. The mud goes quiet. One last sniff, lopes inside, fine. It might have been a baby squirrel who tumbled from the nest. It's probably just you motherfuckers missed. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're gonna, it's, it's already played out. Y'all make sure you get back over to Aesop Rock's page. Give him a like, share, and a sub. It's Rhyme Sayers Entertainment. Oh, this was great. Like, anxiety is real. Like, anxiety, everybody has it to some degree, so realize that that everybody deals with it to differing levels but everybody has that paranoia to some degree and learn to recognize the signs of when your paranoia is grabbing you and then you can try to reason your way out of it like that's how i deal with it is i'm like okay there's some definitely somebody over there and then i'm like really though like why somebody would be sitting in the woods just watching right it, it's it's a reason out of situation for most anxiety situations for me if I can take the time to stop and think about it because it's irrational to think there's somebody sitting in that pine tree looking at you with binoculars <laughs> if if that's what you're thinking then you you've got a different problem right like you need to figure out the roots of that and figure out what's going on I, I've discovered where mine came from and I'm working on correcting that but I do still have a lot of anxiety. Like, I have social anxiety. I don't like talking to people. Like, if there's more than four people, it gets really pressy to me. Like, there's, oh, there's a lot of people. And if you're in a big crowd, oh, I just, I can't deal with that because there's too many unknown variables there. There are too many people that might just be a dumbass. And it don't take but one dumbass to just fuck everything up. <laughs> it's like a turd in the pool. It don't take but one turd to fuck the whole pool up, right? It don't take but one dumbass 
to fuck up everything. So I try to stay away from dumbasses. And if you're making intentionally dumb choices, I'm not going to chill with you. It's just not going to happen. Oh. And I'm not going to get myself in a situation where there's hundreds of possible dumbasses around me. It, it really makes me very much, I, I don't like this shit. And so I don't do a whole lot of social stuff. I used to do a lot of it, but I used to drink a lot. And that made it a lot more bearable. Uh, nowadays, I don't drink at all. And it's not like a religious thing or anything. It's just I don't have the taste for it. And <clears throat> therefore, I just don't like being around people anymore. It's funny how that works. But this was great. Aesop Rock, thank you for this. I appreciate it. I understand. Like, I, I get that. I get that. And especially, like, I used to do things that were not advisable. And they would keep you up for a couple of days. And then you really get this kicking. But thank you for this. I appreciate it. This was great music. <laughs> to the crew. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Till next time, this has been Pitt State. Peace.